What is up, Core Addicts? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles if I got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. As always, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you want to see me customize next that I haven't done yet, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in my next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Galavanter Baller, the second generation one. Now, we did customize the older gen Baller about a year ago. However, a lot of you guys wanted to see me customize this newer variant as well. So, this SUV is an OG vehicle that's been in the game since day one, and it used to be available from the Summer San Andreas website for 90000 However, it was sadly a removed website vehicle with the recent Mercenaries DLC. But remember that this is a street car, so you can always just steal it off the street and store it for free. In regards to performance, the older baller and the newer variant do have substantially different performance, where the newer variant has almost a 10 mile per hour advantage for top speed, and an entire 20 positions ahead of the old one in terms of track performance. So, the newer gen baller is better in pretty much every way performance wise. Now, in terms of what the second gen baller is based on, is primarily based on a cross between the Range Rover Sport L494 and the Range Rover L405. Plus, it also takes some styling elements from the L538 Range Rover Evoque as well. I think it's a great looking luxury SUV and the fact that you can get something off the street for free that looks this premium and nice is actually pretty cool. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the second gen baller. What are we doing today? All right, OG baller, second gen. What you All right, we got armor, brakes, engine, kind of engine I like lights, drive. some xenons. I love the headlights on this thing. So nice, especially with a little daytime running LED strips on the bottom there. Super nice. Uh, plates. Throw my luxury plate on here, which I have. Oh, there it is. Nice. Okay. Um, primary color here. I'm thinking like a nice metallic. I think a diamond blue would look really good on here. Let's see here. Diamond blue. Yes, diamond blue. And then pearlescent. Um, I think an ice white just to brighten it up. So it's more of like a has more like a silver or more like a whitish tone to it in direct sunlight but with you know that blue in there I think it looks really good looks so we'll do that a uh, crew emblem for this thing goes in the hood okay suspension uh, I mean I don't want to lower it because I still want to kind of show I mean this thing actually off-roads pretty decently so I, I want to keep it stock ride height transmission right. turbo wheels uh, the stock wheels look great but I want something a bit more like premium modern looking so we're gonna go to the track category and I'm gonna throw on here the forge stars I've used this wheel in a lot of my baller builds but I just love the way this wheel design looks on this I mean it just it suits it so well it really does especially in like a black um, or in this case for this one I'm gonna go with a stone silver I think in black steel or stone silver kind of between the two I think I'll go with the stone silver yeah we'll do that and windows, a black amount, and that's all the options there. All right, so you know, not not really any visual customization options. I mean, the the old baller though, the or should I say the OG first gen does have visual customization, but this one um, does not, unfortunately. It just has the typical internal mods and stuff, but I mean, at least you can make a decent build out of it. And if you want all the crazy mods, you can obviously buy the baller ST, you know. So yeah, I mean, that looks fantastic in the sunlight here, beautiful. Headlights there. First person, now again, 2013 OG car, so it does have the copy paste SUV interior, which is to be expected, but it does have the stitching on the seat and the, uh, well, the seats and the steering wheel matching your primary color, so that, that's a nice little touch there. All right, floor it here. Now, this one and the old baller, um, they are all wheel drive, but they have more power bias to the front wheels, so that's why it gets a bit more wheel spin in the front but I mean this thing it's quick <laughs> it's not slow by any means but back when you know the game came out you know back in 2013 the baller used to be I believe the, the fastest best one for most tracks there was really nothing quicker than this not that I can remember at least 
Um, it, it wasn't until DLC vehicles started coming out that were, you know, the, the faster a vehicle for SUV races. So this was the OG best one back in the day for, you know, overall tracks and stuff. So it does have a bit of history in the game, and it used to be very popular. Not as much anymore because of the newer Baller ST variant and all that, but... Um, I mean, a free, I mean, this thing for free off the street, I, I think, I think that's pretty cool. I mean, you can get something that looks this premium, you know, off the street for free. And I remember a lot of people use this thing, um, like, they sell them to get, you know, money in the game. They used to do that. I mean, people still do it. You know, you sell, this, this is one of those cars off the street that's pretty expensive. So, simple, a little incline here. I mean, a little, just an eighth of a throttle and it <laughs> just goes right up like n no problem at all just very impressive as you would expect from a Range Rover base car but you know Rockstar sometimes they don't they don't do the best job of you know the way the vehicles perform off-road and on-road but this one this one definitely does let me try to get a more of an aggressive angle here so you guys can see how good this thing is okay this might be that's a little excessive there let me and I think this is too simple, but... Look at that. Oh! Oh, almost. I think if we have off-roads, it'd be a little better. We just give it a little more throttle. Yeah, look at that. No problem whatsoever. That, I, I believe the second... the uh, Sorry, the, uh, the first-gen old baller, I think that one off-roads a little bit better than this one. On, like, lower speed um, inclines and stuff. But this one is faster, you know, everywhere else on road and stuff. Obviously, these are just very simple examples here of going off road, but you get the idea. It's still very good for that. But on and off road. Very nice. Oh, yes. I love the baller. Always have, um, like I said earlier, I mean, everybody used to have one of these back. I mean, if you're an OG player, you definitely own one of these at one point. But. Yeah, let's go ahead and open all the doors and stuff here. Doors all. Okay, it's the engine model. Same one from the the uh, first gen baller. Just copy it over. The V8 engine model, obviously terrible texture quality because it's a 2013 <laughs> OG vehicle. Um, there's the interior we already talked about. You know, 2013 OG vehicle, so it makes sense. Just copy paste SUV interior. Oh, the spacing here with a seat, that's crazy. I can, that's, that's doesn't look all that comfortable to get into. You kind of have to go like around the seat. I feel like the seat should have been pushed a little further back. Um, I guess it just gave it more trunk space, I suppose. Okay. All right, well, I mean, at least everything opens up. I mean, free off the street, you really can't expect much. And from a distance, I mean, unless you really, really know, I mean, from very very far away very far maybe further back <laughs> you, you, you really wouldn't know unless you're like a veteran player that it is you know the older or newer baller you, you, you wouldn't know if it's the old one the original one the baller ST the LE the LW there's a million different variants um, but you really wouldn't know unless you know <laughs> um, some little things I wish I would have had the red brake calipers that most cars have um, just in general, I think in GTA Online, Rockstar needs to give us the ability just to paint the brake caliper color of every car in the game. I feel like that would add a lot more um, color contrast for just cars in the game in general. I know some cars do have it in game, but um, most of them don't. And I feel like that's something they could simply code into all the cars, since e pretty much every single car has visible brake calipers, and almost all of them are the same size pretty much on all cars. So, I mean, I think I think that would be something that would be cool for them to implement. Maybe like a custom shop or something. You, you never know. You never know. But, great overall vehicle. Again, I mean, it, it is a removed website vehicle. But, like I said, you can get it off the street for free. So, I mean, at least you have that option on like some other cars, which you have to utilize other methods to, to get them. So, not the case with this one. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what vehicle you want to see me customize next that I haven't done yet. As always, the list of cars I haven't done will be down below in the comments. And I had some questions in my last video, some of you asking what am I going to do after the series is over. Um, I am going to be visiting, um, or just should, I, should I say revisiting, <laughs> cars that had terrible microphone slash commentary quality from some of my older videos. 
So I'm going to be recustomizing some of those cars, and they definitely need a refresher on those because the quality just wasn't there. I'm not really that happy with those. So, you know, just so we can give a good final goodbye to, you know, GTA 5 Online before the new one comes out eventually, whether that's another 10 years from now or whatever. <laughs> but, um, yeah, definitely let me know down below in the comments uh, what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.